Welcome to DRX vs Fun Plus Phoenix. Both teams just fought tooth and nail for 24 rounds. Overtime is initiated. The first team to win two consecutive rounds will take the map win. But little do these teams know the grueling marathon that awaits them. In this video, you are about to see what happens when the best players in the world have their back against the wall and are pushed to their absolute limits. Will these players rise to the occasion or crumble under the fatigue? Let's find out. But first, I want to thank Valorant Tracker for sponsoring this portion of the video. There's a really cool quote that I love. It goes, what gets measured gets managed. Basically, it means if you want to hit your dream rank in Valorant, you need to measure your progress. Because if you just mindlessly grind out games, you're not going to know what to do when you hit a wall during your climb. This is where Valorant Tracker comes in. With Valorant Tracker, you have access to a gold mine of stats, like the weapon you're statistically best on, to your top agents, to your performance based on the day of the week, and so much more. Use these stats to polish your strengths and eradicate the weaknesses in your play. So download Valorant Tracker for free using my link in the description below. FPX start with everyone towards A, a championship holding the B main push. The game plan is clear, they want to execute A. DRX open with 1B, 2 mid, and 2A. They have a feeling FPX may be looking to walk into market this round, so they're investing 2 players mid to punish that play. And look at how DRX strategically spread their info agents across the map. Fade util for B main, Sova util for mid, KO util for A. This is the power of running triple info initiators. There is nowhere to hide. The barriers drop, FPX actually start backing off. They want to avoid getting scanned by DRX's KO knife. RB actually has his knife out, but he doesn't use it. He completely reads FPX's play and decides to delay his knife. FPX haven't made any noise yet, so DRX want to start looking for info. Stacks fade eyes B main. The eye sees nothing. RB now decides to use his knife. FBX are actually contacting up. Look how deep are this is already. And the knife scans three. Mako smokes off A main in response. This deep smoke is great because not only does it deter attackers from pushing through, it also introduces the threat of a defender using the smoke as cover to sneak into wine. FPX know that and immediately start spamming the smoke. DRX aren't pushing into wine though, so the spam doesn't do anything. Stacks fade prowlers into B main. The prowler sees nothing. Zest recons mid. The recon sees nothing. So right now, DRX know that no one is B main and no one is mid. The knife scan 3A main, it's looking like FPX are hitting A. So Buzz starts rotating over from mid. RB backs up from tree to double up on A with Mako. DRX are preparing to receive this A hit. But FPX aren't just going to wait and let that happen. They start the execute. KO knife tree and switch. Nothing scanned, they know it's clear. Omen smoke door for cover. RB immediately responds by mauling A main. Angel omen blinds through, but FPX can't capitalize on the blind because of RB's KO molly. Look up in the sky. Zippin throws both his flashes into the air. Shout fade eyes up high. Combining the eye and flash together prevents the defenders from breaking the eye, guaranteeing the scan. And so Mako gets scanned as he tries to hide in this cheeky corner. He gets instantly mollied out and forced back. At this exact time, Artist walks up cat. He takes contact with Buzz. Skirmish ends, no one dies. Artist limps away with 46 HP. Back to the execute. I do remember the Buzz was the one to keep him in check a couple of times prior. Now the Paranoia committed, but the smoke then goes up to so trying to quell the so maybe pressure off the, the back. And he absolutely is, but again at this point still no way forward. Artist is just creeping up middle. Is there any success from the back of it? No, they haven't cleared RB. He's gonna find the first two and Buzz commits through the smoke. Bye Finds down. him on the site and now- And FPX gets shredded by DRX's three-man crossfire setup. 4v2 in favor of DRX. Spike is dropped past the choke. FPX is in a terrible spot right now. Aris lurks up mid. He's committed to this lurk after giving up Cat earlier. He needs to somehow make a play to bring FPX back into the round. It's all on Aris to be the game changer, the difference maker, the man who it's can walk Zesto. on water. <gasps> Waiting for it. This oh is everything. Aris walking around. No way, Aris! Huge pick for Aris. The tables have turned. Buzz and Mako are both stuck on sight. So get to his A main, and artists could come from either tree or heaven. For DRX, the site suddenly feels claustrophobic. This round is now actually winnable for FPX. Have you found anything? There's one towards Dice, one towards Jen. That's a pixel out of place and he spots it. Artist now gets proactive. Does he find Stax potentially, who's starting to lean on over? 30 seconds, the double- Oh no! Great call from Buzz and Mako to double up hell so they aren't exposed to heaven while they isolate the A main fight. Artist with only 46 HP and a 1v3. This round is over. It's all in one man's hands. I have the spike. spike recovered, 24 seconds now. He's gonna creep up on the side, he wants to plant. He's, he might actually get it as well. Okay, Pong goes in and gets to dip away. Does get marked though. Prowler, not a problem just yet. Another- No way! Oh, oh my god! 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 What? No way! Artist did the impossible. He ascends. 
and he tears back the round from DRX. DRX start with everyone B lobby. They have an Asher Smoke prepped on Cat to give them cover to split B through mid. FPX start 2B main, Omen on A, and 2A main. They're doing an extremity focused opening, prioritizing control of the mains and leaving mid open at the start. The barriers drop, both teams send a prowler into B main and Sugetsu Sage slows a B main entrance. DRX respect the slow and decide to not push in. This is because their priority is to get their players up mid to execute a B split. They're okay with taking B main back later. DRX smoke Cat and drone up mid. They throw a KO knife lineup that scans Market and Pizza. This is such a great way of using util to systematically get info and take control of mid. FPX's B players can hear all this util in mid, so Zippin rotates over from May to pick up the spawn angle. DRX split up, 3 mid, 2 B main. Their mid players silently walk up. They want to give FPX as little info as possible. Even though DRX use a lot of util mid, FPX don't know if DRX are actually walked up mid or if they're just faking presence to draw attention and rotates. With so little info to work with, FPX can't afford to stack a site. So they stay spread out to leave no openings in their defense. DRX successfully walk up mid. The split begins. Stacks fade prowlers into B main. Sugetsu responds by walling the choke. Buzz smokes off gate, giving DRX cover to run into market. Buzz dashes on a switch. Buzz and Narby are out. But DRX's B main players aren't with them. They're stuck behind a sage wall. This delay gives Zippin time to rotate over to B and for Angel to rotate over from A. But Mako, who's lurking in pizza, can hear Angel's rotation. This lurk could do some serious damage. DRX break the Sage Wabi main. Buzz and Arby both get into the stair smoke. They're finally ready to split onto site together through stairs and lane. Okay, nothing quite coming through yet. Buzz can go no further until the flash came in and finally they make it towards the site. Shao denies it on the first step forward and Angel's still there. DRX though, digging deep. Stax gonna bail him out with two. And now just two alive, but Zipan's one of them and Artist is the other. Mako's flank breaks the stalemate. It's Artist again in the clutch. I can't take it's another. a man himself. I can't take another. The crowd absolutely behind this man. They can feel it. They are cheering his name. DRX rarely the villains. And he's got to slip ahead. Does he find the 1v1 towards the back of the site? Clears close, spots nothing. He's being given no option, given no quarter. And they tame the beast finally. And Zest takes down Artis. The score is tied up. We're going into double overtime. FPX opening with all five towards B main. DRX start with the same opening from two rounds ago. Fade B, 2 mid, and 2 A. Investing two players mid means a stronger mid hold. And it also means faster rotates to B. FPX is about to hit the site with three players. This could get very chaotic very fast. The round starts, FPX immediately sends in their KO knife. This KO knife scans all of stairs, switch, and close lane. On top of that, it lands on the roof so defenders can't break it. It's such a strong KO knife. FPX fade eyes on site. This KO knife and eye combo basically reveals everything on B except for backsight and logs. They throw a sage slow for stairs, preventing a late stairs peak. A fade probably to clear close, a high KO flash to get in. How will DRX respond to this drilled execute? Into this. Incredible FBA resolve. Dumping utility here. They're coming all the way through. The ping is huge. Gosh, what is that from Angel? Oh my word. And on the back of the site, Stacks. Not quite over him just yet. Still has Buzz to help him out. And Angel finds RB. No support on the way now. It's 3v3 now. Two players of DRX stranded on site. Three players of FPX hovering around, keeping them caged in. FPX are looking towards spawn and market, hoping to catch Mako as he tries to help his trapped teammates. But Mako decides to sit in spawn. He's preventing FPX from rotating A through CT. But FPX don't know that. But from FPX's perspective, Mako could be anywhere. Both teams are psychologically trapped. Who will break out of the cage first? You can see already slipping deep towards CT is Mako. He's going to try and hold this place safe. He cannot feed into the machine. And the door shuts. And now you're locked in there with him. When does Stax's reveal come back? It's another 20 seconds on this though. Xiao's got his back in three. This is a key moment in the round for FPX. I've disconnected Marco, it's still... Buzz has got one Stax for the second. Sugetsu chased down by the Prowler. DRX back in the lead. b side is held down, DRX take the lead. DRX start with 3B lobby and 2A lobby. They're not rushing anything, they want to open with an extremities heavy default. FPX start with 3B main and 2A main. They want to proactively take control of the mains off the start. This is because Artist bought an op this round. FPX want to get B main control for Artist so that he can post up in an aggressive position with his op. This will allow the rest of the team to rotate away to stack mid and A. 
And look at the chamber TP's artist set up on lane. If artist takes contact close to the choke, he can TP to safety. And if he wants to get even more aggressive and post up at a deeper and wider angle, he'll be in range of the left TP, so the right TP becomes the escape point. This TP setup is great for taking aggressive beam and control as chamber. So both teams have the exact same idea. Control of the mains is the name of the game. Let's see what happens. The barriers drop, both KO's knife a main. But Arby's KO knife scans two players of FPX while Zip and Snipe gets instantly broken. Angel throws a one-way smoke to help FPX maintain a main control as Sugetsu and Zippin silently back off. Zest silver recons mid, the recon sees nothing. FPX see that DRX are showing presence mid and A, so they know that DRX are defaulting off the start. This signals to artists that this is an opportunity to isolate a pick on the DRX player defaulting B main. Shao fade prowlers into B main while artist follows it. Stacks peeks to break the prowler for Buzz, who's posted at an off angle on top of Shed. Will artists expect Buzz to be there? Yeah, they are off the back of the prowler. He's gonna get the angle too. Buzz is to the your angle. They're right up like a book. 5v4 now in favor of DRX. This is DRX's match point. FPX must find some way to stabilize this round before it's too late. So get to Wall's cat, but he's playing on the wall. This off angle on top of the wall will help him gain an advantage when he takes a gunfight. But DRX's A default players can hear that. They ping out the wall. There's still a lot of time to work with and the wall only lasts 30 seconds, so DRX called to keep playing it slow. They know FPX must make a play and they're waiting to punish it. Stacks fade prowlers into B main. Xiao breaks the prowler for Angel who's playing close. Angel starts inching up. He's looking to find a pick. And he decides to back off. Oh no, he's going back? Ah, uh, nope, he decides against it and backs off to safety. Uh, look for information elsewhere. Nothing going to be shown just yet. A very disciplined side, we know that with FPX, but... I mean, without confirmation, maybe they're just waiting on this wall to come down, so yeah. FPX have to relinquish a little bit of map control. FPX hears DRX's Asher Star and KO Flash A main, hinting to them that DRX is retaking control of that area. So Xiao Prowler's in to be main for info. The Prowler sees nothing. This all tells FPX is probably going to be an A hit. So Zippin and Sugetsu promptly break the tree door. This makes it harder for DRX to safely get on a site. Angel TPs from market to gate for a quicker rotate to A, and Xiao rotates over to CT. But look, DRX aren't ending A, they're all regrouping B. Zest Silva joins up mid. Angel picks up the operator here. Angel breaks the drone with his op, so he preemptively rotates the op over to B. He just showed the op is posted mid, so he gambles that DRX aren't gonna go mid out of respect for the op. Meanwhile, DRX are grouped up B main. They've spent the last 30 seconds showing subtle signs that they're focused on A and mid. They've set the scene, now they're ready to flood in from B main. But little do they know, Xiao and Angel are both B. And the RX is stacked here. There go. As it stands, if they do decide to commit towards the site, they're going to get pinged off this. He is. Oh my Ooh! god! But look at the other side! Xiao sees two, he saw more than that. But Buzz is slightly further ahead, Stax fights back, Xiao's gone down. But there's still one on the back of the side, they haven't cleared Angel just yet. And now Stax, oh! We go again! That was a huge fade eye scan from Xiao, netting him a double kill and setting his team up for an easy retake. FPX claw back, they're not going down without a fight. We are going into triple overtime. FPX open with 2B lobby and 3A main. FPX want to make a lot of noise towards A main and then end B. This is because they know that if they make noise A, DRX will respond by either rotating over to A, which leaves B as a weaker site to execute on, or DRX may respond by pushing B main or mid for more map control, which artists and Sugetsu are in position to punish. DRX open with the same defense setup they've been doing all of OT. 1B, 2 mid, and 2A. The round starts, FPX explode towards A with a ton of util. It's really looking like an A execute. Anyone's game, Mike. Big knife here from RB. But RB responds with his own KO knife and it scans three. Buzz immediately rotates over to A. Yeah, lots detected here. Spike not committed though. This is an early posture from FPX. Don't draw any extra rotation. <laughs> Look, it's kind of funny that Artis is playing in the exact spot that he died to last round. He's like, if you guys want to play this cringy off angle, I will show you I can do it too. Angel smokes tree. RB responds with his Kale Molly. I think actually RB close enough to hear that that was the best and still close. Ooh. RB feeling the heat though. And Zest is now toying with the idea of rotating. FPX fake executed a second time onto A and immediately start rotating towards B. All the noise A causes Zest to start shifting over from B, even though there's already three defenders on A. As FPX are rotating to B through spawn, DRX are noticing it's strangely quiet towards A. RB KO knives A main and the knife scans nothing. It's a fake, DRX is saying. So Zest and Buzz start rotating back to B. 
Stacks Prowler is going to be main. Enemy detected. But FPX don't panic. It's possible DRX might think it's just a lurk. So they quietly creep up together, ready to explode out when they get closer to the choke. A massive advantage in the mid round here for DRX. Have to be conscious of that wall going up. Take mountains out of molehills at this point. Left. And there they are, in towards the side they go. Look at the chip damage on the way through, but the trade comes out. Buzz and Sax try to fight shoulder by shoulder, but still it's traded. Wall goes towards CT. Spike's gonna be going down. So gets who has to slip. Yeah, he does. He slips back into B main here. Or zip bands plant in there, but I'd say no command gonna come online. I thought they were both gonna stack up on lane here. It's taken DRX a long time to deal with this wall. Yeah, it's a lifetime. They should be able to step out towards us. They're not fighting the first couple of steps, but if Sugetsu gets, gets curious, he actually loses his life. And now it's Zipan. 1v2. Back to the wall. Both players oh, coming his way. I don't know if they're even going to use him at this point. Zipan now has to just get it. And he chooses wrong in DRX. Solid retaken round from DRX. FPX's double fake towards A could have been so good, but their rotation to B was just a little too slow, giving DRX the time to prepare for the execute. But FPX have no time for regret, because it's match point for DRX. DRX start with 4 towards B and 1 top mid. They're opening with a heavy B and mid default, with Astra passively holding the A push. As for FPX, they open with a pretty standard spread. Artist has an op though, that's going to heavily punish DRX if they get sloppy and start dry peeking corners. The barriers drop, DRX throw a ton of util B main. Artist back on the operator here. Once again we go through and it's like alright who's- So you get to instantly walls B main and backs off. But DRX completely cut noise after throwing all that util and start walking towards mid. They're hoping that by creating a ton of noise B main, the FPX's mid players will start shifting towards B site, creating an opening in mid. Xiao immediately starts rotating over to B. But artisans who get to double up mid, the exact opposite of what DRX were hoping for. This is because to get to wall off B main and DRX haven't even touched the wall. So FPX have a read on DRX's game plan. Xiao jumps past mid from spawn. He sees nothing. And with the sage wall reinforcing the B main choke and mid already stacked, Xiao decides to rotate back A. At this moment, DRX smoke cat and walk out mid. Xiao got timing so hard. DRX silver drone up. It's time to get mid control. So Getsu should come and deal with this drone. Spotted though, he's found Artis. Actually, Sugetsu trying to bait off the back of that information and post up deeper. I thought setup's gonna be nasty. Lovely flash. Oh, it's he's found Artis flash. and he gets away. There's no chance for a trade. Huge pick from DRX, but they don't know Sugetsu's also in market. They cut noise for a bit. They have three grouped up mid and two outside B main. DRX want to end on the B split, but they think it might be too obvious to hit the same site they just got a pick from. So they want to show presence towards A first. RB KO knives Cat. Mako smokes off Garden. Angel instantly omen blinds Cat in response. Zip and KO knives Cat. The knife sees nothing. FPX no Cat is clear, but DRX are already running up mid. They want to dial up a press now. They want to split B. But with the predicts to get two, he's gonna get one. He's gonna get two. Oh, the crunch comes in from middle. FPX perfect positioning. And now stacks and zest. In dire straight we go again. And FPX shut down DRX to tie up the score. We are now entering quadruple overtime. FPX start with 3 towards B and 2 towards A. They want to start the round by defaulting A and B main. The spike is left towards B, so they're thinking of ending B after working the map. DRX start with, yet again, the exact same spread they've been doing for all of OT. 1B, 2 mid, and 2 A. They're so insistent on this opening. It's as if they're waiting for FPX to make a specific play. The round starts, Xiao fade prowlers into B main. Stax throws a fade eye up high in B lobby. It gets immediately broken, minimizing the info given. FPX have B main control now. Stax wants to know if FPX just showed presence and left or if they're still in B main. So he sends a prowler in and it gets instantly broken. Okay, got it. At least two FPX players are still in B main. Meanwhile towards A, both Angel and Zipin have A main control. They ping wine since they know a DRX player could have gotten the timing into there. So Zippin uses his molly and it clears wine. FPX now have full A main control. Mako knows this too, so he uses a deep Astra smoke A main to deter FPX from pushing in. But unlike the previous round, he actually uses the smoke to sneak into wine, the space that FPX just cleared. Zest recons mid, the recon sees nothing. So he drones from market into B main, hoping to find out what FPX are up to. Two players posted up outside A lobby this time though. It only spots artists, which doesn't tell DRX much since Chamber is usually the lurker. Angel smokes out mid arches. 
Buzz is jump spotting mid from spawn and he sees the smoke. This smoke denies info from the mid defenders and gives attackers cover to walk up cat. The Rx see the smoke and take it as a sign that FPX are regrouping cat to hit A. So Buzz rotates over to help reinforce tree. But that's not what FPX had in mind. They're using the smoke to walk up and slowly take control of mid. Stax uses his last fade prowler B main for info. Trying to make waves to fall short here. And it gets shot by both Artist and Xiao. Wait, two players are still B main? DRX is thinking. So Buzz starts shifting back towards B. FPX have two B main and three mid. They want to end in the B split. Now, if an answer, the utility towards B main is going to pull Buzz back towards the same position once again. Buzz jump spots mid and spots all three FPX players. The jig is up. FPX have to speed up their execute. Zest though has to go huge here. There's pace and everything you can do, I can do better. They're going to do the same thing to get to. And the crossfire melts down FPX. This is why DRX started every round with two mid. The spike is in market. There's almost no time left. The rest of FPX tries to retake. What a marathon of game this is turning into. 10 seconds. Double swing. Gonna get down stacks. So little time. Yeah, you're right. Time. Biggest issue here. This will filter away. And DRX once again. And they get gunned down. Match point for DRX. DRX open with a heavy A default with 4 toward A and 1 B. FPX start with a 2-1-2 setup with a chamber trip and tree. The round starts. Kill knife, sage slow, only one way. FPX do a ton of util and establish control of A main. Then they silently walk away. They know that if they show a lot of presence A main, that it might bait the DRX players who are mid to speed up their cat push to try to pinch the FPX players playing in A main. And when they do, FPX will be ready and waiting. Wait, FPX actually have four players towards the mid right now. Upper hand to DRX here, coming in with the advantage. Are they going to uh, try and they're, they're going to try and press Michael, stacks again? Michael, they're, they're walking mid. You're absolutely right. Stacks left. A safer position this time, though. Mm. You see, actually, look at the pings on the map. DRX are a hundred percent aware of the possibility. Angel's got to be careful here. On a knife's edge now. Do they re-clear both sides? How diligently? It's only. Oh my God! Oh! He spotted him. He's absolutely seen him. The crowd gives it away. As does the shot that follows. Buzz. Pins down Angel. They've outdone the mastermind, at least on the first step. The drone cleared all of close mid. DRX split up, three mid, two B main. They want to keep it simple and split B. But FPX knows they're stacked B right now. And this B split once again. Oh, but look how many bodies are on the, on the site now. At least one towards CT, two towards site. Nice little flash up towards market. Finds no one. You can see them sitting deep towards the site itself. Shao and Art is there. They continue this pressure, continue the pace, but there's Zipan! Finding two on the way through as Buzz does at least slip the net. Finds a fight, loses it, Shao! Shutting down what they're doing! This game is never ending! 16-16! Welcome to Quintuple Overtime. FPX start with everyone towards top mid and A. They've been opening with an extremity heavy default for the past few attack rounds. This round, they want to change it up and just do a simple A split. DRX open with, once again, the exact same defense spread they've been doing. 1B, 2 mid, 2A. They really like the setup, huh? To the credit, it is a solid setup. 2 mid means they can hold on to market control very well, as we saw two rounds ago. There are 3 towards B, which is great at responding to fast B hits. And Jet being towards spawn means she has a shorter rotation to A if it's an A hit. It's a solid setup, but it has a glaring weakness. Cat is completely open. Maybe FPX is catching on to DRX's setup. Maybe this is why they're calling a cat heavy A split this round. The barriers drop, RB KO knives a main, and Angel just barely dodges it. FPX decisively start walking down cat. Is it DRX, right? That's just We're gonna be here all night. I'm here for it as well. Yeah, I'm not even that fast. <laughs> Grab us a Red Bull and we'll be fine. Oh, oh, oh. What? Mako was hiding in a ratty corner he created with his own smoke. But the game sense god whispered into Artis' ear and he pre-fires that exact spot. Uh, how? How and why? Artis just... He's got the reveal on the second as well. He just, he just sees this game in a totally different way. FPX are on the doorstep and they're actually in towards the side. It's just Buzz now. Left, seventh alone. And head off the shoulders as Zipan claims it. Blanc gonna come in and stacks and zest. One towards heaven. With Artis falling though. He's given space for Zest to set up this flank. The null command comes through. No utility for Zest here. How can Zest get any any chances? First couple of looks in, sees nothing. But again, that's quite telling. Okay, spots one towards Jen. Stax now needs to start making his step forward. Zipan doesn't quite have the active angle on it, but again, the positioning's are great. They face all together. There's no way out of it for Stax. 
It's 17 this time for FPX. And for the first time in six rounds, FPX take the lead in overtime. Match point for FPX. For the past six overtime rounds, DRX have only won when they were on defense and they've lost every single time on attack. But FPX broke that pattern last round by finally shattering DRX's defense. Now DRX are on attack. They haven't won an attack round in so long. Can they find a way to win this attack round to keep them in the game? Or will FPX carry the momentum to finally close out this hard fought map? Let's find out. DRX start with a 1-2-2 two, two spread. They want to take D mid control and transition into a B split. But they remember what happened in round 30, where they got pinched from Cat while they were trying to split B through mid. So they're starting two top mid this time. These two players can help punish a defender that tries to late aggress from Cat. A B split call to decide the game. Will it work? FPX open with a standard wide spread. They have two starting A main. They want to take early A main control with their Sage and KO util. The round starts, FPX KO knives and Sage slows A main. They also omen one way smokes to help maintain the control. Their knife scans nothing. This tells FPX that DRX are probably looking to make a mid play. So Zippin and Sugetsu both immediately ship towards Cat for a 3 man stack and tree. Meanwhile, DRX KO knives market and Silver Recon's arches. The Silver Recon scan nothing, so they know close mid is clear. But the KO knife scanned Angel. So DRX know that Angel is somewhere around mid. They continue with their game plan though. DRX smoke off Cat and start walking up mid. Zest deploys the Silver Drone, but since it's so high up, Angel actually breaks the drone from all the way in spawn. Remember, Angel was the one who was scanned by the KO knife at the start. So DRX have a read that mid is actually open, so they commit to their call to split B. Angel has a feeling a B split might be coming, so he sprints over to B to help fight the split. Robbie and Buzz have to go huge here. Can they get the timing ahead of Sugetsu? Angel's, Angel's close here. To close. Angel's here! He's been found though! RB takes him out of the equation. And now they fly towards the Shao. Shao again! This guy is the ultimate fade! As now we're down to a 3v3. While all that chaos was happening, Mako was lurking in market, listening in to the rotator footsteps in CT. He's telling his team, Hey, I hear 2 CT. And we know Shao is back beat because we saw him use his fade util earlier. So DRX called to start rotating the spike towards A while Mako fishes for a kill in CT. Spike's backing away. 55 seconds, they have time for this. But Marco's on the floor! He's made a meal of it! And now it's all going absolutely skew if Smoke goes up. But the spike is still getting away from Stax. Stax has slipped away. Stax is going towards A. Marco is just purely buying time, trying to keep him safe as long as he can. How much damage can Marco do? Zipan striding forward now. Three players going back in Please from CT. Him. Please clear Do they him. clear it? Do they clear it well? They don't do it well enough. He gets one. It's still game on, but Stax is so quickly and around the world. He could go. Does he dare do it? Stax, the man himself. Glass gets broken. Hawk goes up. He slips away. Has to fall back towards sight. Avoids the flash. One's already down on sight. The second comes right. Depends one HP. One v one. Oh, it's Stax's thirty. Hawk goes up. He's looking for him anywhere he can, and the dance begins. The stack oh goes! My God. And stacks goes huge! DRX actually did it. They won that crucial attack round to once again tie up the score. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we are now entering sextuple overtime. FBX start with 3B lobby and 2 top mid. We'll see what their game plan is in one second. DRX is sticking with their usual 1-2-2 setup. This is a round neither team can afford to lose. The round starts, Xiao fade prowlers into B main and Angel follows it. Wait, but then Xiao immediately runs away with the spike. FPX want to fake presence B main but end A. In mid, FPX smoke cat and knife mid. The knife scans zest but not buzz. This is FPX showing that they're also taking mid control. DRX respond by Silver Reconning and Fade Eyeing B main, both instantly broken by Angel. Presence B main is absolutely shown. Then Angel quietly backs off. Sugetsu silently walks up mid while the rest of the team split up. 2 cat, 2 A main. FPX are going to A split with Sugetsu faking mid. Not middle with Sugetsu. Now, did he get, he get spotted? I don't know. Zest? Still playing for this. Slow goes in, so this gets more and more tricky for Zest. A confirmation behind the wall though. So actually Buzz is going to make his way towards a side where FPX are Look collapsing Look now. Look at the pace, the flash! Oh the my moves. god! How is Angel so spry? And how did he turn that? And how are FPX working this one out? Oh, the overwhelm bulldozed on the site! 4v2, massive numbers advantage for FPX. What can DRX do? Watch it out again. I have no idea he's here this early. He's got one, he's got three. Oh, oh my god! No! What? what? Stax does it again. Match point for DRX.
FPX have their back against the wall. DRX are one round away from taking this map. The pressure is at an all-time high. Both teams are fatigued beyond belief. Neither team can afford to make a mistake. Not now. DRX all-star B lobby. They want to keep it simple and just slam FPX with a B execute. But how they approach this B hit could make or break this round because FPX have three stacked towards B. And from the way they're positioned, they're looking to fight back. The round starts, both teams fade Prowler B main. Both Prowlers latch onto their targets. But neither team is capitalizing on the space. No one wants to make a mistake. RB KO knives Cat. The knife scans nothing. Knifing Cat puts pressure towards the A side and access misdirection to help cover up the B hit DRX want to do. DRX then regroup, 4B main and Silva joining up mid. They're making this seem like a B split through mid when in reality it's actually a B main flood. And FPX took the bait. They have two players in position to take a fight market. It's just artists holding B main. I'll nip down to the event. <laughs> and they get one of the greats. Artist going to be forced away from the first angle, but he's certainly not alone on the site. The has got numbers behind this. And they got pace behind it too, straight on in. It's all going to be shot, I believe. Buzz there. Trying to play around it. Look for anyone out of position, but he's actually going to take the angle. Perfect timing on Artist with the punish. The fault's not going to happen. Shao good for one, but only one. Site's now vulnerable. Spike on towards it, and out three remaining. Where is Zip and Angel and Sugetsu here? Angel's on a late, late flank here. Got to be careful though, because Marco's posted deep in B main. Could this be it for DRX? The crowd believe it. They just have to make us a believer. The flash for him. Oh, oh my God! God. He turns the flash. The trade does come out, but towards the side, it's RB to go down. Marco still standing, and Marco wants him done here. Sugetsu says no, but only for a moment. DRX. DRX have finally done it. Two rounds in a row. Victory in overtime.